slope. The weather is beautiful today, says I. Good boy. Good boy. It's getting to be that cool weather where you can basically just go outside, ride around, and your doggo don't get that tired, if you know what I'm saying. Good boy. Good boy. Whoa. Now, if you guys don't know how to skateboard with your husky, I encourage you to learn. Hey. Hey. Stop. Hey. Stop. Good boy. Good boy. Stop. Good boy. What you see? What you see? You ready to run back? You ready? You ready? Let's go. I think he's tired. You ready to go home? You ready to go home? Good Bowie. Oh yeah. Oh, you want some water? You want some water? Come on. I'll get you some water. Water. Look at it all fall into the dish. Oh, there you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. All right, everybody, let's go in the room. Hey, everybody, welcome to another episode. Oh, we already did that. Hey, everybody, now we're back in the Papa Rooney room. We're hanging out, and today we are talking about where you can buy or rescue a Siberian Husky. A lot of people asking me, where do I get a beautiful little Huskaroonie? Where can I buy one? Where can I rescue one? Well, today we're gonna be going over that. If you are interested in getting a puppo, where you can buy one. Now, a lot of people are super confused as to how you go about purchasing or rescuing a Siberian Husky, and I'm gonna clarify things just a little bit today. So if you guys have been wondering where you can get one, this is probably going to be the video for you. It's probably going to help you out. Now, Siberian Huskies originated from Siberia. That's in Russia, if you don't know. They were eventually migrated to the United States where they flourished in Alaska and the northern states. Go ahead. You have another one. You can have one too. You have... Wait. Sit. So it's good to know that they are a breed that enjoys cold climates. However, that doesn't mean you can't own a Siberian Husky if you live in warmer climates. You just have to take extra special care and caution because they can overheat twice as easy. Now, I bought these two beautiful pups right here from a breeder, and I found that breeder online. But before we get into that, I'm going to teach you the three different places where you should be looking if you want to buy or rescue a Siberian Husky. So the first place you're gonna wanna be looking obviously is to adopt your puppo. That's the first thing we're gonna go over. You should be considering adopting a Husky if you want to own one. If you aren't into rescuing a Husky, which is everyone's prerogative, you can get it however you want, then just wait till the second step. But this first step is going to be covering those who are interested in rescuing Husky puppies. There are Husky puppy rescues out there and and just regular husky rescues. It takes a quick search on Google just to look up Siberian Husky Rescue. Now there may be one near you and there may not be one. Rescues seem to be few and far between with Siberian Huskies and that goes for every breed. If you're looking for a boxer, usually the closest rescue is a far distance away. Now, this isn't including rescues like your local pound or just a local humanitarian place. Those are completely different from what I'm talking about. Every town should have a pound or a humanitarian location where you can adopt 
pets like cats and dogs. I would always check there. It is always a good idea. However, Siberian Huskies are highly sought after pups. Chances are that if a Siberian Husky does end up in a pound or in a local shelter, they're going to be rescued right away. How can you get an edge on this situation? Well, you can do yourself a favor and go and visit the pound or the humanitarian location that is closest to you. Just look up in Google what locations near you save pets like dogs and cats. Once you find that location, go there and talk to the people who work there. Chances are that there will be a waiting list and if you go there and talk to the people, tell them how much you love Huskos, tell them how passionate you are, you can probably get on a waiting list where when a Husky does come in and needs to be rescued, you will be the first to be contacted. Now this is a good idea because Huskies are one of the top surrendered puppos out there because they are a little bit difficult to raise and manage. They are a medium difficulty dog to raise. However, even though they are given up very often, they are adopted just as often. So be sure you get your name on one of those waiting lists. It's really going to help you discover the rescue pup that's right for you. Now, these are the two ways that you basically can rescue a Siberian Husky. You can go to an exclusive Siberian Husky rescue, like I mentioned in the beginning, or you can just go to a local one. The only difference between those two options is going to be at a Siberian Husky rescue, you're just going to be able to choose from only Siberian Huskies to rescue. Now that may seem appealing, but like I said, those rescues are few and far between. Now let's say you want to buy your Siberian Husky. There's a few ways you can go about doing this. Now I know a lot of my viewers are like, there's no Husky puppy store. How do I go and buy myself one if I have the money and I want to do it? Well, there are a couple of ways and you want to make sure that you're doing it the responsible way, okay? The last thing you want to do is get on Craigslist and talk with somebody, look up sketchy ads like, hey, this puppy's only $200. I wouldn't do that. You want to make sure you do your research, you do your due diligence when it comes to researching a breeder. The first thing I would do is go online, okay, and look up Siberian Husky breeders and then in whatever location you live in. So, for example, if you live in New York, look up Siberian Husky breeders, New York City. Hopefully that will give you a list online of all all the different breeders that you can choose from. Now, typically breeders are very, very expensive. They've done their homework, they've been breeding for a long time, so they are going to charge you the most amount of money. This is not like rescuing. You will be paying upwards of a thousand dollars for one husky puppy if you go through a breeder. Now, typically the best breeders, the most responsible breeders have their own websites. When you go to Google and you type these things in, you should see companies that are like Sunshine breeders, Alaskan Husky breeders, things like that. You should be able to go to their page, see their testimonials. They should have pictures of all their different Huskies, pictures of the mom, pictures of the dad, pictures of where the puppies live, that sort of thing. That is the best way to find a breeder. I know it's not easy. Now, if you're having trouble just looking online, I would go ahead and do a Facebook search. A lot of breeders are taking to Facebook because it is a free platform and they're able to market their breeding there. Now, just be careful because Facebook can fill up with scammy stuff and you do not want to be paying for a Husky that lives in California when you live in Wisconsin and have someone take like 500 of your dollars and run away with it. So be very careful on what you do. Now, let's say you found a breeder, okay? Hopefully this breeder lives near you or within driving distance. I really discourage my viewers from having their puppy shipped in from a professional breeder abroad. It's just, it makes it really uncomfortable for the puppy. The puppy's got to fly somewhere. If you have to do it, if you want to do it, go ahead. It's okay, but I encourage you not to because it is stressful putting a baby husky 
through traveling. So let's say you find this breeder, okay? And you want to use that breeder. You feel comfortable that that's the dog breeder for you. The first thing you can expect is that most dog breeders will expect a down payment if you want to hold a puppy. Most breeders, if they are responsible, they will not give up a puppy until the puppy is eight weeks old. It is standard that all husky puppies stay with their litter mates and their mom and dad until they are eight weeks. So it isn't weird if you have a breeder saying, hey, you need to make a down payment on this puppy and you won't be able to come and pick them up until they are eight weeks old. That's totally normal. So when it comes to buying your pup, most of the breeders can be found by doing a simple Google search with your area included. You can also do a Facebook search. I very much discourage doing a Craigslist ad search, but there's always something called Puppy Finder. Now, Puppy Finder is very interesting. If you go to Puppy finder.com it is a website where people market their pups these are breeders but most of the time they are amateur breeders which means they probably aren't official by the AKC or other certified kennel clubs and this is okay you don't have to buy your husky from a breeder who is certified from the AKC I want to go ahead and stress that everyone's like should my husky be from a breeder who is AKC certified it doesn't really matter if they are AKC certified, your pup will probably be way more expensive as it costs the breeder $200 or something around that price to become AKC certified. So they are going to charge you. Now, what does that certification do? It just says that your puppo is of standard. All of its grandparents and its parents were absolutely top quality Siberian Husky. That is what that certificate is going to tell you. But I will say this, neither of my Huskies were AKC certified. They weren't certified by a kennel club. I bought them off of a breeder who I trusted and who I met and I built a relationship with. Puppy Finder, as I was discussing, is a interesting website because they do have the breeders actually certify themselves on the site. Now, you can buy a dog from someone who is not certified on the site and that's completely okay, but they do take the extra measure to make sure that the people are not scam artists on the site. So, in my opinion, if you want to go to puppyfinder.com and search for your Siberian Husko, that's completely okay. But I will stress this as I have over and over and over again. If you decide to buy from a breeder, please do your homework. Please research that breeder. Please ask that breeder plenty of questions and make sure that you are knowledged up. You want to know everything that you can know and you want to be educated on that breeder and their practices. So with that said, what other ways can you get a Siberian Husky? We've basically checked out rescuing one from an exclusive breed rescue or from a local rescue. We've talked about buying one online through a AKC certified breeder or just going through Facebook or puppyfinder.com. These are a few ways that you can find a Huskaroonie pizza. Now I know it seems a little bit complicated why isn't there a better way to buy these pups? There is no husky.com. There's no go get a husky.com. There's no simple way to just pick yourself up a Siberian Husky. You have to do the research and you've already started here by watching this video. So props to you. You are already getting your foot in the door on figuring out how to get a quality Husko. If you guys have any questions, be sure to ask in the comments below. Not only me, but most of the Husky community is going to help you out. I see so many people coming in the comments commenting on some of the questions that people have and you guys are helping each other out. The community here is so strong and we have you guys to thank for that. So thank you so much. We really appreciate you. We got to head out. We will probably be back tonight with another episode, but for now, we will see you guys next time with guess what? Yep, another sleepy episode of whatever we make. Peace! Double Husky Snowbound.